guys welcome back okay so a couple disclaimers you might hear a fan it's a little warm in here so i have my fan blowing directly on me right now um also this is gonna be a long one <laughs> i know typically my hauls are long ones because i only do about two or three a year i accumulate stuff over months and months and then do a haul and show you guys what i'm going to be playing with for the next few months this is a doozy, okay? I haven't done one like this in a long time. And of course, it's because of all the holiday sales, Black Friday, you know, Orange Monday, Green Wednesday, whatever. Whatever it was, I shopped it, okay? So it's a lot. So just grab your coffee, grab a snack. You might need to put in a lunch order, dinner order, whatever. But let's just jump right in. I'm not going to swatch anything. Y'all know. It would be too long if I did, so I'm just going to show you what I got, let you guys know how I feel about it, if I've used it. Most of this stuff I haven't used. I've only used a couple of things so far. But yeah, this is my holiday Black Friday until still shopping now haul. <laughs> okay, so let's go. First off, if you guys are followers of mine, you know that I did purchase the four new mini palettes from Juvia's Place. So I do have all four. And at this point, I haven't used the violets. Yeah, I haven't used the violets yet. This is what it looks like. But there's a few videos already of people using this palette. But I definitely am going to be using this soon. This one I've already used. It is the berries. This one I've already used as well, the chocolates. And this one is the nudes. So that is what this one looks like. Okay, next, I just ordered these. These are some of the color books from Revolution. I ordered mine from Ulta. I didn't get them from Revolution. I got mine from Ulta. It does come with five different color books. I only picked four because the first one I was not interested in at all. It's like a gray, black to white. So it's like blacks, grays, and whites, and I don't care about that. <laughs> this one is color book 02. This is what it looks like. So it has like the warm tones in here. Let's see if you can, there's a glare because there is a plastic divider so one side is shimmer and the other side is matte for all of these palettes just in case you're not familiar with these that's how these are set up one side shimmer one side matte but it's basically just like a color book for you know this color scheme so this one is zero two this one is zero three so this one has like your reds and oranges and yellows in there very pretty this one is zero four all of your purples, pinks, lilacs, things like that. Sorry about the glare. So pretty. This one is gorgeous. And this one is 05, which is the blues and greens. And so this is what that one looks like. Just knowing my personality, I might end up going ahead and picking up the <laughs> 01 book just because I'm a completionist. I really am. Okay, next. <laughs> I have this from Beauty Creations. This is their mini pros on the go kit. So this is what it looks like from Beauty Creations. This thing is huge, but the palettes aren't that big. So it's a set of four mini pro palettes. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So it has the four palettes inside. Let's say mini pro for each one. And then that's what, <laughs> I know there's a big glare there, but that is what the cover says. Learn the rules like a pro so you can break them like an artist. I like that. So this one is mini pro volume one. And this is what this one looks like. Mini pro volume two. Mini pro volume three mini pro volume four this one of course is my favorite now before i move on to the rest of my palettes i did pick up a few empty palettes empty magnetic palettes because 
Um, you guys, <laughs> if you are uh, someone who watches my channel regularly, you know that I am into depotting palettes now. So I did pick up a few more empty magnetic palettes. This one I got from Ulta. It's a tart one and I thought it was cute. I love camouflage, um, you know, pattern design. So that's what it looks like. It's just an empty magnetic palette for me to put shadows in. But I thought this was cute. I really like it. I also grabbed some from ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I did pick up four of hers that she was selling. I believe she had these on sale for like 10 bucks on her website if I remember correctly. You can kind of see the pattern and design on here. There's one. Here's another one. This one is kind of like a glitter. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, like a really pretty lavender glitter. And this one is a super bright yellow glitter. I also got a few of these giant ones from Give Me Glow. So this is the XXL Pro Custom Palette. And these, I believe, are the ones where they're supposed to have like some type of little flaw or something to them but I mean I don't care as long as the magnets stick stick in here I don't care so this is a really really huge one that I like to use these to kind of organize my shadows when I'm trying to figure out where I want to put them so this one is really cool and I think there's there's more on sale too for like either 10 or 15 bucks really good deal okay so now let's get into some of these palettes before we jump into everything else I did pick up some of the Sephora Pro palettes because they were all on sale on Sephora's website during the holidays. And I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and complete my collection. And I'm very curious as far as how these other palettes perform. I do have two already that I really, really like, the Smoky Jewels and the Editorial. So this is what the cool looks like. I'm really gonna have fun with these Sephora Pro palettes. This one is the Nudes. So this one is the Nudes. This one is warm and I really like this one because it has the gold writing on the front. So this one has all of my warm shadows. And this is the one that I'm most excited about. This one is the Editorial 2.0. So this one has a lot of shimmers in here Whereas the first editorial, you know, just has your bright colors and mattes. This one has bright colors, but it has shimmers and stuff that are really, really pretty. So I'm really excited to try this one out. You guys see how big these palettes are? <laughs> it's a big palette. Okay, so this next palette here is the Snow Queen palette. This is from a company called Amore Us. And I do have a few of their palettes. I just recently tried out the... Fancy You palette, I believe. <laughs> I do have a video on my channel for that one, but this is the Snow Queen. Very pretty. Next, I wanted to try out a few things from Makeup Geek. I've never ordered anything from Makeup Geek, so I figured since I'm kind of getting into singles a bit more and wanting to try out more indie brands in the upcoming year, I went ahead and ordered some singles from her. So I just placed them all in this magnetic palette that I got from Amazon. But these are the shadows that I picked up from Makeup Geek. Also, when I was on their website, I was like, oh my gosh. I saw this. This is like, I guess, a blush and bronzer palette. First of all, the packaging is really pretty. But when I saw the colors inside, you know, as a brown girl, <laughs> whenever we see colors like this is like, uh, yeah, that's pretty. So I did go ahead and pick this one up, put it on the screen. But this is what these colors look like in this palette. So it's like a blush and contour and highlight palette. This shadow looks a little strange to me, but these here, very pretty. Now, this palette here, I would have to say I'm the most excited to try. This, I have been wanting. <laughs> this palette here, I've been wanting to try this thing for like years, it seems like. I don't know when this thing came out, but I saw somebody using it. Sosu and Khalid. I don't know how to pronounce that. Hopefully, I'm not butchering it. But this is the Urban Bible palette and I finally broke down and grabbed it because it was on sale 
but you guys look at the colors in this palette to me it is just so unique so unique it really makes you kind of <laughs> use your creativity to use this palette so it just it just looks amazing and i know the camera is not doing it justice but these colors are so so pretty okay i picked up a couple of items from rose glam boutique this is the enchanted forest palette my girl Lily did a video using this palette and of course her look made me buy it <laughs> it's a pretty large palette but it's from an indie brand rose glam boutique and they were sold out honestly i don't even know if they brought this back into stock but this is what this palette looks like very pretty gorgeous shades in here and while i was on the website i went ahead and <laughs> of course snagged this highlighter palette mystic glow highlight palette this is what it looks like and this is what the highlighters look like now when this mug came back in stock from give me glow i hopped on it it's the christmas morning palette and i believe they're making it permanent now <laughs> so yeah i went ahead and picked this up from give me glow gorgeous gorgeous palette okay you guys know i love playing in makeup by yolando i did pick up her latest palette which is the no limitations palette had to get this okay this is what the packaging looks like very pretty you guys you have not seen a palette until you see a plain in makeup by yolando palette in person no camera i feel could ever do this justice well on instagram she she does it justice but my camera sure won't do it justice but oh look at these colors you guys gorgeous so so beautiful okay also from playing in makeup by yolando i have this jam rock palette this is another one of her newer releases if you haven't figured out by now i love color so this is what this one looks like this one has some really pretty glitters in here too if you're into that but with her palettes they are extremely pigmented so they can be powdery so if you're not comfortable or familiar with using shadows like that then you might not like her palettes now this one i picked up from amazon <laughs> this is from you can be i don't know what i did with the box it came in a really pretty pink box it's somewhere around here but this is the pretty all set palette and this palette got me just because you guys know i like trying high-end low-end indie any kind of makeup i like trying it but this palette here <laughs> it opens up like this pretty little book it has your warm warm tone shades it has like your cooler pastel shades it also has face face products in here blush highlight contour and then you have your colorful side so this is what this one looks like so so pretty and I've used some palettes from you can be and I've been pleasantly surprised at how they perform but this section has like the glitters pastels and the face that blush looks really pretty right there that looks gorgeous and then this is the warm section and there's a, a few cool tones in there too i see very pretty though but yeah i want to just sit down and play with this one day <laughs> so that's my intent almost forgot i have a couple more indie items these are a few shadows i think this was a little set that i bought from shroud cosmetics this is the moonfall eyeshadow trio i've never purchased from shroud cosmetics before so this is how the little trio comes and these are the colors in the trio very very pretty so so pretty so i'm just gonna pop these in one of my empty magnetic palettes so i can try those out also i did use this palette already this is the sourlicious palette from bombshell cosmetica and 
very cute palette it smells good it's nicely pigmented this is what it looks like on the inside yeah it still smells like candy these are the shades now these palettes I did use in a collab video with my girls as well DJ and Lily um yeah we don't like these palettes <laughs> all of us say about it honestly i wish i could take them back or whatever but we don't like these palettes they're they're not the business at all okay so now let me show you some palettes that i picked up from ulta this palette has every time i go to ulta i look at this palette and i pick it up so i was sick of it i said you know what i'm tired of it i'm just gonna buy it i don't even know why i want it lord knows it's nothing special about it but this is the nyx ultimate shadow palette phoenix the phoenix palette i know everybody is familiar with this palette it's been around forever and it's been on sale on ulta forever but it's something about this palette that was just calling me every single time i go to ulta it calls me so i just said screw it and bought it so yeah i'm gonna use this mug and <laughs> hopefully i don't hate it because I mean, I avoided this palette for months and months. I mean, at this point, it's probably been years, but now I have it in my collection. Do any of you guys have any items like that? Every single time you go to the store, you look at it, knowing full well you really don't need it or really want it in your collection, but it's just something drawing you to buy it. So I don't know. Maybe that's a palette that I'm supposed to give to somebody and the Lord wanted me to buy it. So I'm just going to hold on to it. <laughs> This is the Morphe 9G. Oh my gorge. It's one of their small little nine pan palettes. And this is what it looks like. It kind of has that green and burgundy theme to it. Now this palette I purchased just out of curiosity because I only have, I think, one sleek product and it is a blush and i do like it a lot but i've never tried any sleek eyeshadow palettes so i mean it doesn't look that impressive to me this one is vintage romance so we'll see how this one goes but yeah it kind of reminds me of like makeup revolution it's a cute little palette i'm just curious as far as how it's going to perform but this is another one of those. Why did I buy this? <laughs> if you guys are familiar with sleek palettes and products, let me know in the comments what to expect. <laughs> this is a Revolution palette. I don't even know who this is. Somebody by the name of Jack. I don't know who that is, but when I was in um, Ulta with the hubby looking around and stuff, this one kind of caught my eye of course because the colors in here and also um there's a really pretty gold shimmer in there this one here that caught my attention but yeah i just really was drawn to these colors i thought it was a pretty palette so yeah i grabbed this one this one is the precious stone emeralds palette really pretty packaging i don't know why i keep I'm, i guess i'm a glutton for punishment no with revolution their shadows are extremely hit and miss so you just never know what you're gonna get but this is what this palette looks like it's really pretty absolutely gorgeous and those shadows the blues and the greens now this palette i really didn't have no business buying okay i bought this palette so i could use it <laughs> this is the pure barbie collection eyeshadow palette now, if y'all watch my channel, you know I already own this palette, okay? I do. It's back there. You see that black Barbie doll that my girl Lily got me? There is a Barbie palette, highlight, lipsticks. The whole Barbie collection is in that little cube, and I refuse to use it. Refuse to touch it. I'm not using it. So, I bought one that I could use. I know. I know. I know. You don't even have to say nothing. I already know. But this palette is gorgeous. <laughs> Just the, the encrustation of whatever that is on there. What is that? Like rock and crystals? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, it smells good. It smells like coconuts. Mm, mm, mm. But this is what this palette looks like, you guys. You see that? It's gorgeous. 
and I'm dying to use it. <laughs> so when it went on sale, I bought one that I can use, okay? So I'm going to use this mug. I know. I already know. Just don't even say nothing. I already know. Next, I got this palette from BH Cosmetics. This is beautiful in Barcelona. Another palette that was just constantly haunting me every time I went into Ulta and saw it. And I'm just dying to try it. This is the Fairy Lights palette from BH Cosmetics. And this pretty packaging here. And then you take it out and it looks like this. Super gorgeous. And this palette actually kind of reminds me of the Barbie palette. It kind of gives me the same feels as the Barbie palette. But it's really, really pretty. Look at that packaging. Ugh, oh, so pretty. Now this palette is from Pure. This is their brand new like holiday palette. This is the Pure Crystal Clear palette. And it's like a book and it has like the face products in it as well. This is what this book looks like when you open it. It has plastic on it. So I'll just kind of show you like this. But it has really pretty shadows, shimmers, glitters, face products in there if you can see that. But yeah, these colors look really pretty and really rich. So I'm actually very curious to see how this performs with the colors that are in here. And it smells good. Yeah, it smells good but it's really pretty these are like um i can't see but these are like bronzer highlighter type shades there's blushes in there eyeshadows more blushes yeah i can't see so hopefully you guys can see that <laughs> but yeah it's really pretty okay next i have here the morphe 18b making bank and I like the way that this palette opens because it's cardboard with a magnet. So it's not that hard plastic that you have to dig in and try and open it up. I much prefer the cardboard with the magnet. But this is what this looks like. And as you can see, there's a mirror in there. So this palette is really pretty. It has these gorgeous greens and yellows. Very, very pretty. I hope they start making all of their palettes with that cardboard and magnetic closure okay this is the Frida Kahlo from Ulta Beauty collection and it has her on the cover I really like um, that they came out with this collection because I had to study her in art when I was in college and I mean extensively study her so it was just really neat to see them come out a collection for her. I don't know how I feel about the collection itself, but I think it's really neat that they did come out with one for her. Now in this box, you do get a brush cleaner, you know, like a color switch and the palette. So let me show you the palette. So this is what the palette looks like. Very pretty design on there. Gorgeous flower. And there's a mirror in here, a little mirror, and these are shades I also purchased two lipsticks from that collection I believe there might have been three I got two of them and I will show you that in just a minute when I finish up with these palettes I think the last palette eyeshadow palette that I got from Ulta is this 39L hit the lights the packaging on this is so pretty to me <laughs> so so gorgeous it just looks like a party i wasn't gonna get this palette i kind of went back and forth looking at it i thought it was pretty but i was like mm, i don't need that definitely not for what 42 dollars or whatever they were selling it for so honey when it went on sale for 21 dollars <laughs> i put that mug right in my cart okay so i did get this on sale for 21 smacks okay and i'm not mad about it so this is what it looks like very pretty and this is a collab palette with four different influencers, I guess. I don't know any of them, but this is how the palette is set up. It's set up in quadrants from each um, influencer, but this is what the whole palette looks like. That's all I really care about. So it's very pretty. And it's even prettier for $21, okay? <laughs> Okay, now what would a haul be without some ColourPop palettes in it, of course. So during the ColourPop sale, I did pick up the only other three 
mini monochromatic palettes that I was interested in. I'm telling you, I was like, I'm not doing it. I refuse to pay full price for these palettes. <laughs> I just, I refuse. And ColourPop, they took their sweet time having a sale for these palettes, okay? But your girl waited, okay? So this one is the Blue Moon from ColourPop. I just recently showed this <clears throat> in my palette collection video for my blues. So you already know what this one looks like. This palette is really, really pretty. The other one that I really wanted was the Main Squeeze. Packaging is so cute. So cute. And this is what the Main Squeeze looks like. And the last monochromatic palette that I just had to have was the Just My Luck. Do I need any of them? No. <laughs> but yeah, this one is so pretty. This green in the center, uh, I want to use that so bad. So, so bad. So the other two palettes that I picked up from ColourPop is the Misunderstood from the Disney Villains Collection. I didn't think that thing was ever going to go on sale. And this one is the Designer Collection Midnight Masquerade. I'm still asking myself why I bought this, to be honest with you. <laughs> so let me show you this Misunderstood. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. So cute. And this, these are the shadows in here. And I actually have been wanting this palette ever since it first came out. But I just wouldn't bite. Wouldn't bite. So I'm actually glad I waited and got it on sale. And this is what the Midnight Masquerade looks like. I really like that shape. You know, it's kind of like a jewel shape. And this is what it looks like. It has all the Disney princesses up there. And these are the colors. Of course, you know, the bottom row is what's really calling me. Okay, you guys. So those are all the eyeshadow palettes that I've purchased during this holiday season. Okay. Are we exhausted or are we exhausted? Okay. So now let's jump into the non-palette makeup items that I purchased. This first one here is like a powder brush, a very nice powder brush from It Cosmetics. I haven't even taken it out of this little, <laughs> this little cone yet. Uh, because this mug was expensive. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was expensive, okay? And it's really, really nice. You see that? Really, really nice. So this one is the KES30W. So, yeah. It's like so nice, I don't even want to use it, but honey, I'm going to use this mug, okay? Now, I picked up some more items from the Juvia's website. You know, they haven't constantly having sales now so they had this little you know duo thing that had this foundation brush and the brush me off brush soap so i did go ahead and pick both of these up this is what the foundation brush looks like you know they're two-toned foundation brush i love these angle type brushes for foundation love them and then they have this brush cleaner so i wanted to try this out i guess it's kind of like you know you rub your brush around in it and see what happens so yeah i'm really excited to try that out i also picked up a couple of brush sets while i was on the juvia's website i don't know what the names of these are but i got this one it's a pretty like teal colored brush set and this is what these look like. I'm not going to take them all out. Anybody got time for that? But they're very, very pretty. Nice. It's like black and brown. Duo tone. Duo colored type brush hairs. And I also picked up this red set. These are different, I believe, than the red ones that I already have. I have a red set from them, but they don't look like this. So this is what these look like. And this is what the brushes look like. Very pretty. Gorgeous. And on Juvie's brushes, they do put their name and the number and the type of brush. So I do really like that about their brushes. Very, very nice. And they had a great sale on these. I'm pretty sure I didn't pay more than $20 for these sets. So I really like Juvia's brush sets because even though they're really nice and the quality is bomb, the pricing is comparable to like BH Cosmetics. You know what I mean? Now I picked up this brush cleaner pad. <laughs> I got this from Amazon. So it's just a... Um, 
a brush cleaner pad that you it has suction cups on the bottom so you just put this on your sink of course when you want to clean your brushes and you use your soap and you just scrub your brushes on here to get them clean i saw my girl Kay's ways with one of these and i think hers was from sigma and i don't remember if i looked up the pricing or something of that one and i was like yeah no i gotta find me a cheaper one <laughs> I went on Amazon and found this one so I think it'll do the trick okay I picked up another set of brushes this is from Morphe this is the pump up the glam brush set and it comes in this pretty little bag here this is what it looks like very cute I like the shape on this and the coloring is pretty but these brushes though <laughs> these brushes y'all oh my goodness now I am a sucker for a glittery handle, okay? This is what the brush set looks like. These are the brushes that you get. But let me show you this handle. Look at that handle, you guys. Do you see that? Ah, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these brushes. Mm so pretty so anyways yeah i picked these up from morphe okay so another item that i've been dying to get and i just couldn't bring myself to buy it was this cover effects monochromatic blush duo it's crazy you guys when i do not want to pay a price for something i do not want to pay that price for it and i just did not want to pay the price for this <laughs> blush duo and I wanted it really, really, really bad. I know you guys are familiar with this. Everybody has either already got it, bought it, used it, <laughs> all of that. The one that I got is Spiced Cinnamon. I thought that this one would look pretty nice with my skin tone. So let's hope it does. But yeah, this is Spiced Cinnamon. So earlier this year, I tried out some bronzer and highlighter duos from minted and i really really love them and i decided i wanted to try out some other items from minted every time i see their blushes i'm like oh my gosh i want to try them so i picked up their blushes a couple of lipsticks and an eyeshadow palette so let me just show you the palette first this is called the everyday eyeshadow palette i just really really wanted to try out some more of their products so I'm going to go ahead and see how this performs. Also, I picked up three of their lipsticks. This one is Foxy Brown. This one is Red Rover. And this one is Dope Tote. I love this packaging. It's like that soft matte feel. This is what their blushes look like. It also has that soft matte feel to it. And this one is Pinky Promise. This one is Buried Away. And their blushes do have a mirror inside. This one is Peach for the Stars. And this one is Clay Too Much. Clay Too Much. And you guys, I must have been on a blush frenzy or something just wanting to try a bunch of new blushes one day because I ordered so many blushes, it's not even funny, okay? But 2020 is gonna be the year of new blushes. <laughs> so anyway, I also stocked up on my favorite black liquid eyeliner. It's the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. It looks like this. This is my absolute favorite. So I did stock on my those. I got four of them. Also, I stocked up on my Morphe setting mist. Hello, y'all know that. And this was on sale too, okay? I'm like, I could save $4 a can? Yeah, go ahead and wrap that up. Now, I mentioned that I picked up two of the Frida Kahlo Collection lipsticks as well with her palette. So, these are the two lipsticks that I got. This packaging is very pretty, isn't it? Gorgeous. Oh, this one doesn't have a name on it. This one does, though. This one is Destiny. So that's what Destiny looks like. Gorgeous. And this one, I don't know what it is because <laughs> the sticker fell off. But it's pretty, whatever it is. So that is that one. 
Now, I know that I said I'm not buying any new mascaras in 2020 because I do have a few, quite a few that I need to go through. But I did pick up a few during the sale just to help get me through the year, okay? So this one here is Essence Super Curl Volume Mascara. This is one that I must have heard somebody talking about it because I usually don't go and pick up a specific mascara unless I hear somebody talking about it. This one here is by Catrice. This is the Rock Couture Extreme Volume Mascara Waterproof. So that's what that one looks like. Once again, I must have heard somebody talking about it. And this one is the It Superhero. I already know I like this because I heard myself talking about it, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I love this. I had one of these in my BoxyCharm, I believe. Love this mascara. I refuse to buy a new one because I had so many to use. But <laughs> since I waited, I went ahead and treated myself. So, I also picked up a new primer. This is probably going to be the only primer that I buy in 2020. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, because I have a lot of primers that I need to go through. And I always get primers and stuff like that in my monthly subscription boxes. So, But I wanted to try this one from uh, Revolution. This is the Pore Blur Primer. I haven't tried any primers from them. So I just wanted to check it out and see what's happening. Now, of course, I ordered some stuff from e.l.f. because you guys know e.l.f. is affordable and they have the bomb products. So I did order some things from them. This is a Gotta Glow Lip Tint in the shade Perfect Berry. You can kind of see it through the plastic. This is the color down here, this super dark, dark purple. But it's just a lip tint, so I went ahead and picked that up. This is a moisturizing lipstick. It's called Wine Tour. Yeah, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Wine Tour. And I'm sure I only paid a couple of bucks for those lipsticks because Elf be having the bomb sales. This one is a backup of my Elf Plumping Lip Gloss in the color Mocha Twist. You guys know this is my favorite. I'm wearing it right now. And I also picked up just one of their clear um, glosses. This is their Lip Lacquer Gloss. This I just wanted to try out. I don't have acne, <laughs> thank God. I used to when I was younger and not so young as well, but I don't have it anymore. But every now and then, you know, I'll have a breakout or something during that time of the month or something didn't, you know, my face didn't like something or I ate too much junk. So I picked up this e.l.f. Acne Fighting Spot Gel with Aloe. It's like, I guess, a little rollerball thing. And it's like a spot treatment for acne. And it has the salicylic acid. <laughs> so yeah, it says salicylic acid acne treatment. So I thought I'd try this out for whenever I have those just little spot breakouts. I also stocked up on some of their brow pencils. I just started using these um, again. I hadn't used them in a long time because my favorite is the LA Girl Slim Shady eyebrow pencils which I did stock up. I got a three pack from Amazon on these as well. You can get a three pack on Amazon for like 12 bucks so it's not bad but the e.l.f. eyebrow pencils you can get these um I believe it's three for six dollars and you can pick you know whichever color that you want so I did pick up three of these for six bucks so that should get me through the year. Also from e.l.f., I got this. I love their blushes. e.l.f. blushes are really nice. The ones that are in this packaging, at least, I really like them. This one is the color Always Rosy. Also from e.l.f., I picked up this Glow, Gleam, and Beam highlighter palette. That's what that looks like. And I have been hearing everybody talk about this Jelly Pop dupe primer and how it's supposed to be a dupe for what is the milk whatever primer milk hydrating primer or something like that I don't know I haven't tried the milk primer and since they're saying that this is supposed to be a dupe just like it and I'm not really sure if I would like something like this I decided to get this little sample kit so this little sample kit has the elf jelly pop dupe primer 
a elf jelly pop juicy gloss which you can never go wrong with and it also has in here a face and eye gloss so it's a cute little kit i don't remember how much it was but i figured this was a better option for me instead of buying a whole big primer of this jelly pop primer and i don't like it so i'm gonna try it out see if i like it and then if i do you know maybe i'll go ahead now i ain't buying no primers <laughs> If I like it, it'll have to wait until next year for me to buy it. Okay, you guys, we're almost done. Now, remember I said that I went blush crazy and just bought a whole bunch of blush? Let me show you what I got. So, I got this BH Cosmetics Glowing in Grease 6 Color Blush and Highlighter Palette. It's not new at all, but it's one that I've really been wanting to try out. I think it's really, really pretty. So, so pretty. This is what this palette looks like. And I think it's gorgeous. So I had to get it. So, so pretty. Also, I picked up three Maybelline Fit Me blushes. I have never tried any Maybelline blushes, which was really surprising to me because I love Maybelline. And especially their foundations and highlighters. So I was like, I've never tried any Maybelline blushes. So I picked up three of them. They're so cute. Look how small they are so cute okay so this one is rose so that's what rose looks like just like pretty pink this one is wine so that's what wine looks like and this one is berry now also from the Frida Kahlo collection with the lips and the palette that I bought I did pick up this blush and bronzer duo very cute has the same design on there and that's what it looks like I really just wanted to try out the collection so I'm not really expecting this to do much on me but you never know I mean that bronzer looks pretty dark actually I don't know we'll see I also picked up a blush from Juvia's Place while I was on their website shopping I actually used this blush not too long ago I couldn't wait anymore. I went ahead and used it. So this one is Bella and it's from the Afrique collection. And this is what Bella looks like. You see how gorgeous that color is? That's a very unique blush shade to me. It's very, very pretty. I picked up three blush crush blushes from Lottie London. This one is called Justin. So it's basically the same color as the packaging. This one is called Zach. And this one is called Zane. I was also curious about the L'Oreal Paradise um, blush formula. I really don't use a lot of L'Oreal products, if any. So yeah, I really wanted to try out this blush. I don't know. I can't see the name of it, but... Ooh, it's scented? Ah, oh, it smells like peaches. What? It smells like peaches. Anyways, this is <laughs> this is the color of the blush. So it's just a really light flush of peach. And lastly, I got two blush palettes. This one is the Morphe 8C. So it's the Cool Pro. I've been drooling over this palette for the longest also, so I better like it. This is what this palette looks like. Yeah, she pretty. And last but not least, drum roll please, <laughs> I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit in Gradient. So that's what it looks like. Yep, she went on sale, so your girl grabbed her. Oh, look at these colors. So, so pretty. I cannot wait to try this out. This is so gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. So that is it, you guys, for my last haul of 2019 and probably my last haul until at least the summer of 2020. And even then, it's probably going to be my beauty con haul, to be honest with you. <laughs> so I think I'm pretty much set for most of the year here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed your snack, your coffee, your popcorn, your lunch, your dinner, all of that good stuff. And maybe you got some ideas of some things that you're interested in or you want to pick up. 
let me know in the comments below like always if there's something you saw and you want me to try and hurry up and get to it like hurry up and get to it kk y'all know i'll be dragging so yeah let me know if there's anything in there <laughs> that you want me to hurry up and try and i will try and get to it expeditiously okay so thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video doodle